Welcome to Puzzles and Solutions. On December the 21st, I published a video about the Nikologic Matrix B IQ test. I wasn't able to solve puzzle 9, and in the video I said this. I would appreciate any comment explaining this puzzle, and I will make your explanation into a separate video if it's good enough. Exactly two weeks after posting this video, 130 and above posted this video, which claims to have solved puzzle 9. I found the solution to the Nikologic Matrix B IQ test, puzzle number 9. I will leave the link to the full video down below. Be nice and give him a like and a follow. I 100% believe that his solution is correct. But yeah, let's go through how the pattern of this puzzle works. The red squares always move to the next position indicated in this matrix. So if a red square starts at position 1, then it will move to position 2, then to position 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then back to position 1. At first glance, the numbers may seem a bit random, but it follows a very nice geometric pattern. If we look at the diagonals from top left to bottom right, we see that the red squares always move down in these diagonals. The end of the first diagonal is connected to the start of the second, the end of the second is connected to the start of the third, and then third to fourth and fourth to fifth. Finally, at the end of the fifth diagonal, it loops back to the start of the first diagonal. You might be in a bit of disbelief and think that there is no pattern, because there are so few red squares and they might just follow this pattern by random chance. But if you look at the blue squares, it follows the exact same pattern, just from the top right to the bottom left. Again, remember that the end of one diagonal connects to the start of the next. This gives this position matrix. So if a blue square starts in position 1, then it will move to position 2, then position 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then back to 1. Looking back at the puzzle, let's go through the last row and how the red squares move. Here we have the numbers which indicate how the red squares move. In the first picture, the red square is in position 3, then it moves to position 4, and then position 5 in the correct answer. Only answer B, C, and D has a red square in position 3, so we can eliminate the rest of the answers. Next, let's focus on the blue squares. Here we have the numbers which indicate how the blue squares move. In the first picture, the blue square is in position 5, then it moves to position 6, and then position 7. Out of the three answers left, only answer D has a blue square in position 7. Answer D is the correct solution. Before ending the video, I would just like to mention that this puzzle followed such an easy pattern, but it's still really difficult to find it. Also remember to check out 130 and above's channel. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you again in the next puzzle.